Hi, I just want to show you something because a lot of people on LinkedIn are either offering me jobs or asking me for a career at IBM or asking me how to become a good data scientist. Let me just uh, answer those questions. So first, I'm not searching for a new job currently, so uh, I'm happy with IBM. Second, if you want to work for IBM, just please use the uh, IBM career portal. We are publishing all our offerings and we have quite a lot for data science, so feel free to apply. And number three, that's maybe more interesting, how to become a data scientist from scratch. So the first thing which I think is very important is uh, this book here. It's called Show Me the Numbers. And this is because a lot of data science work is actually creating plots and charts and discussing those with enterprise stakeholders. Uh, it's not so much about machine learning and modeling, to be honest. So this is a very good start. The current transition, what's happening is uh, from an ordinary business intelligence scenario, uh, we are transitioning to the more self-service VI. So all the open technologies are heavily involved there but just read that book i can highly recommend that book okay it's not an affiliate link i'm not getting anything from this no worries so if you want to go hardcore i actually did that i took this course here actually i i was um, finishing my masters at the eth zurich and i already was registered for a cas so that's a certificate of advanced studies for applied statistics which i wanted to take afterwards I already uh, was registered and I was about to start, but then I found this course. This is uh, quite some years old, but it's still, in my opinion, the de facto standard for hardcore machine learning. So this is taught by our friend Andrew Ng, which was or is still, I don't know, a Stanford professor. And then he went to Google and built the Google Brain. And then he went to Baidu because Google didn't offer him enough GPUs for his work. Baidu did, and then he left Baidu and he founded uh, DeepLearning.ai and some other companies, so he's now an entrepreneur. But anyway, this is teaching you all the fundamentals of machine learning, but it's very advanced. So you have to re-implement all the algorithms in Octave, which is an open source variant of MATLAB. Okay, so I took the course twice. First of all, I just watched the lectures and then I thought, okay, let's take the certificate. And then I really realized that it's quite hard. Uh, it's free, by the way, so that's cool. And I think that means you get the certificate even for free, okay? Um, if you want to go hardcore in deep learning, the same guy offers the deep learning specialization. And there you have to re-implement all the different deep learning neural networks in NumPy. Okay, also very hardcore, but also I've learned a lot from that. That's unfortunately not free. Okay, so that's, those are the hardcore courses. And then uh, as an IBMer, I want just to show you what we have. So this is something I'm teaching. This is called the Advanced Data Science with IBM Specialization. Um, those are three courses and a capstone. So here I'm teaching uh, Apache Spark basics. Here I'm teaching Advanced Apache Spark, Machine Learning on Apache Spark, and signal processing, and later on uh, advanced deep learning, okay? Uh, if you think it's still too advanced, so Android Inc's courses are the most advanced, then, then definitely those are relatively advanced. If you want to start more from scratch, we have a couple of other professional certificates here. You can have a look at those, and I will put all the links into the description. And then another thing I want to recommend is go to kegel.com competitions and just uh, participate in a competition. So it's not so much real world knowledge you will learn because in the real world, the majority of the work is data integration. So you need to work with databases, CSVs, JSON, Excel files and um, BI tools and all that stuff. But uh, some of the work is, is advanced modeling and in Kegel you can showcase your skills. And also the cool thing is all the competitions, there are a lot of volunteers who are opening their work. So you can check out uh, the 10 best competitors and see how they are doing stuff. And then you definitely will also learn a lot. Okay. And then of course, get your hands dirty, try to get involved in a, in a project. So if you are already working for IBM, for example, we have a shadowing program. So you can go with somebody like me to a client and learn from there. So just 
try to search uh, for such an offering of any company. Yeah, that's basically all. If you have questions, just post them down in the comment section and happy learning. Bye.